Hi, my name is Connor, and I'll be your guide through this WordPress series. In this series, we'll embark on a voyage designed to teach you WordPress inside and out. Not only what WordPress means for your website, but also what it means for you, saving you time and energy. Now, I want to pause the tutorial for just one second and direct you to our website. If you're not already watching these tutorial series from our website, I'd highly recommend you check it out increaserss.com. Here you will find hundreds of tips, tricks, tutorials, blog posts, and tools to help you increase traffic. In the end, this is what we're looking for, traffic, not just a pretty site that no one goes to. Keep updated with the website. All of the information will coincide with the WordPress tutorials. And in the end, you'll get an overall package of information that will make your website both successful and profitable. Alright, back to WordPress. But first, what is WordPress? WordPress is a free online application that was developed in 2003 specifically for bloggers. If you are a writer back then and wanted to get your articles online, WordPress would be an ideal tool for you, but only as a writer. Now, however, after years of development, WordPress has evolved into a comprehensive content management system for any website, no matter what category so you don't have to be a blogger to use WordPress. In fact, more than 20 million websites use WordPress, including major websites like the Wall Street Journal. Okay, so we know that WordPress is a big, amazing, and free management system. But what actually is it? Well, first, let's talk about what management systems are. It's pretty straightforward. It's a system that manages things. WordPress is a system that manages websites. So think of it as an online computer program, a tool to help you create, edit, and maintain your website. Here is a website that I made with WordPress. As you can see, it doesn't look like a blog at all. Typically, in order to edit such a website, I would need to have extensive HTML knowledge and access to a server. With WordPress, however, I can simply edit this website from any computer with internet. I'll first go to my admin panel, otherwise known as the dashboard, and log in. The dashboard is the tool we are going to use to edit the website. We'll get more into what the dashboard is in a later tutorial. I want to add a page to my website. As you can observe, I can add a page within seconds. We will be covering all of this in depth later on. It is recommended that during this series, you have a WordPress site that you can play and follow along with. First, though, you need to know what kind of a WordPress site you want, and then how to set one up. We'll get into the different kinds of WordPress options in the next tutorial. I hope this series helps you tremendously. With a thorough knowledge of WordPress, you will be able to save time and keep organized. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this voyage into the wonderful world of WordPress. Oops.